All right, hopefully this is recording. Hello. <laughs> All right. All right, well, this is the newest update for HDVR, update 94, I believe. And uh, as you can see, there is a new spectator cam option. So now, hopefully uh, I can see this. Can I see this? Am I pointing at you? I'm pointing at you, right? I think I am. I'm looking, there's a little uh, monitor here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah. So now we got uh, <laughs> we got some cool stuff here. Uh, let me just move this out of the way here. But uh, yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so yeah, like I said, spectator cam. We got a little camera here we can pick up. What's up, guys? This is uh, the new camera <laughs> that Anton has given us. Pretty cool, huh? You do selfies now. All right, let me just uh, turn this around. And uh, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with this. Ooh, look at that. And uh, you can adjust a lot of things too. Let's, uh, let's uh, change the camera FOV here. Let's zoom out a bit. All right, let's turn this thing around. What's up guys? <laughs> Little fish eye lens for you. Uh, whoa. So that's the uh, smoothing. I just click the uh, lin linear smooth. So now you can have a uh, nice camera movements. If you move the camera around. Oh, this also works for all the other stuff too, like the uh, spectator and third person. But, uh, oh, uh, I need to turn on a roll removal so that there's no roll, which I should have done. I, I should have done in the first place. And uh, left camera, I ran, uh, whatever, that's fine. That's only for like uh, spectator. And uh, we can render in higher quality. Hopefully my uh, game doesn't lag too much. Uh, it's a little, it's lagging a little bit. I don't know if you can see in the footage, but uh, every time moving this camera, it kind of, kind of moves. So let's just keep it on low for right now. Uh, that, uh, that's something else. All right, let's, uh, whoops, let's put this back to regular 95 FOV. Check out all the new stuff that we got here. And some of the old stuff too. But, uh, all right. So, you know what, let's, uh, let's, uh, pause this, and let's try some of the other camera modes. We got the HD Spectator, which as you can see, is a lot better, a lot more smoother, right? No more of my moving around, I'm moving around, my head's moving around all over the place, but, uh, the linear smooth filter is, uh, keeps that all nice and smooth, but we can turn that off. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this is this is my head. Turn on all these options, especially a a angular smooth. As you can see, it's pretty smooth, pretty good. And you can, uh, for all you people out there who are right-handed, I know I'm left-handed, so I select left, which is uh, funny. The buttons are all uh, in the wrong place, but I love that. <laughs> now you know how it feels. Uh, well, I mean, I have a problem with my left and right hand because. You know, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail, but uh, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we got all these smoothing options. I'd keep it on two. Roll removal. Maybe on three. I can turn my head. I am leaning really far now. I don't want my headset to fall off. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. So now we get a smoother picture. Uh, let me try it with a gun. Let me just spawn something here. Uh, let's grab ourselves a... Hmm. Uh, which one should I get? Let's grab ourselves a uh, Mark 23. Got ourselves a magazine. Hopefully this is uh, coming across in the recording. Yeah, I think so. All right. All right, that should have been a good uh, demonstration, hopefully. Uh, all right, so that's pretty cool. We got a uh, spectator cam right now that uh, actually uh, is cool, you know, is uh, adjustable. Oh, did did I change the uh, FOV? 
Oh, you can change the FBO, uh, FOV. All right, so if you guys want the more ultra wide, I might stick with uh, 115 for this, maybe. All right, third person. Let's try that out. Ooh, all right, ultra wide FOV. I'm gonna go a little closer on this. 65. And let's turn on the roll removal. Angular smooth. Oh, okay, okay. Now these were the op. Th these are where these options come in. Side offset. So this gets you a little center, moves you farther away. So now you can see, right? I'm looking through the. Um, if you can see there, I'm looking through the. Uh, the uh, the um, the camera preview. But rearward distance. Oh, all right. Okay. Let me just move this over here. <laughs> Get this out of the way. You know, I kind of wish that the, um, the camera preview was a little more centered because it's on this uh, right side here. And uh, you have to turn your head to see it. But uh, whatever, it's all right. Let's move this a little closer. Not too close, though. Hmm. Just playing around with these settings. I'm going to have to uh, dial in some of this stuff. Maybe play a couple of rounds of taking hold with this new camera. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, so that's the third person, which is, uh, again, I'm going to have to play around with the, uh, the stuff here. Wait, hold on. Whoops. Where did my camera go? It is gone. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. And uh, we've got the uh, spawned object, which is the camera, obviously. Hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> But uh, we also have a rail cam, which is this thing right here. You can see it looks like an old web camera that uh, Anton showed off. And uh, you know what? Let's actually put it on this uh, new weapon that Anton introduced to us uh, for this alpha cycle. The MRAD, I think that's the MRAD, yep, Barrett MRAD, and I am going to put, oops, I'm going to put this uh, webcam on the MRAD, All right? So, uh, let me go back into, oops, that is a big gun, so it goes into a big slot, like so, should be, uh, but, uh, yeah, there it is, you see it? It's on my shoulder slot. For all you people out there who didn't know about shoulder slots, that's where it is. Put the gun out. I need to. I need to move a little farther back. Oh. Also, I'm hitting the uh, play space. Oh wow! Hold on, just uh, just a second here. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. And I'm just gonna <laughs> utilize this this camera angle. Oh, this is a bolt action as well, so. <laughs> I need to put a scope on this thing.
Wow, this camera is so cool. Love it. I love it already. Oh, I don't know what that does. It turns it on, but I don't know if it turns it off. All right. Well, uh, going to HD spectator mode here. And uh, I think Anton should have fixed the uh, issue where you can't you can't see through the scopes, because now you can, which is pretty cool. And I want to make sure that all my settings are good, so let's just turn some of these down. And the FOV might need to go a little bit higher. Okay. Well, anyways, this is the MRAD. It shoots uh. 338 Lapua. Wait, hold on just a second. Oh, thought that was going to go in there. Yep. All right, 338 Lapua, which is a pretty good uh, round. And uh, yeah, it's your standard uh, big snipe rifle. Oh, nice. It's a little hard to do without a bipod, but uh, yeah, which uh, leads us to our next thing. Now we have these uh, barrel attachments that should work like so before, there we go, and now we have a bipod. All right, let me just uh, put this down here. Honestly, I thought that was going to be more like uh, performance intensive with this uh, spectator cam, but everything seems to be working all right. Although I, I do have to say that this is a uh, indoor scene with no SOSIGs, so I don't know. Performance might be a little different when there's uh, a lot of action, but uh, yeah. All right, we are out, and I didn't spawn lock it, so now I'm out of ammo for this. But there's the MRAD. Everyone, ooh, you can adjust the, uh, the stock. Padding there, I forgot what it's called. I'm not a sniper, so. This is the cheek rest, and this is the shoulder rest, I guess. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. But uh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Let me, let me just uh, turn that off right now. Can we adjust the shoulder rest to get a little closer? Yes, we can. All right. But yeah, there's the MRAD. Pretty nice. Oh, you know what? Let's take this off because uh, this one has a rail on it. Uh, let's talk about... Oh, I, sh I should put that up there. Oh, I clicked something. What did I click? I wanted Ranger. There we go. All right. Uh, let's go back to camera hopefully this is recording let me just uh check the uh screen here yep it is okay good so uh now we're going to talk about these uh cool little things that anton has given us hopefully you can see them but uh you know what would be really nice for the uh, spectator cam if we could change the uh, fov by pressing left or right on the touchpad that would be really slick but we can't do anything. We can only activate it, I think. But, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's still pretty cool. So, anyways, we're going to go back to the uh, attachments here. As you can see, these are the new attachments. I love this new spectator camera. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So... Let's go back to the HD spectator here. And uh, let's see. We need guns that usually can't take attachments. They don't have rails. So let's uh, let's spawn ourselves a... Um, what's a good weapon to spawn here? Hmm. Go with a classic 1911. You know what? Let's try the Mauser. On ourselves some ammunition, a little clip. All 
All right, so we got ourselves our Mauser. And uh, you can see there's no rails on this thing. You can probably put a suppressor. Oh, nope, you can't. Oh, well, that one's gone. But uh, let's see. Uh, oh, this one is uh, pretty big. Let's see. Not this one. Is this not going to work? <laughs> I thought it was going to work, but... Uh, hmm... Okay, it does work on that. So maybe it's just the Mauser. Let's try something else. It would be nice if the Mauser was, uh, would have worked, but, uh, uh, how about a, how about an Explorer 22? Let's try, let's get, let's get an Explorer 22. All right, it works on that. So maybe on some guns it doesn't work. But uh, now you can have a, uh, an optic on this thing. Which, uh, uh, we need an optic. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Okay. Could be a little closer. I guess that's why Anton put in a uh, barrel extender here. All right. Well, that's the uh, the top mounted one. There's some more of these other rails here that we can grab. Let's try. Ooh, this one's a small one. Maybe. Uh, hold on. I think it might be size dependent. No. Nope. All right. I guess that one doesn't work. This one is a little smaller. Hmm. Oh no. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna reload the scene because that is a bug. Ouch. All right, let's uh, let's actually get serious about this stuff. Uh, hopefully, wait, my spectator panel is still on. Yep. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. What can we use? Mass twenty-two? No, 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 no. Uh, the Breda. Jet fire. Will that work? Let's see if this works. No, oh, it does. All right. Now let's trick this baby out. <laughs> I need a. Well, uh, I think this would be all right. Oh, wow. He just resized that, uh, <laughs> the tiny Beretta just resized the, uh, sight there. Okay. That's, um, unique, I guess. <laughs> oh, this one, I think, can also use a uh, suppressor, so let's, uh, stick a wrap on there. Oh, wait, hold on. Completely forgot. You can also put this on there, and then stick a suppressor on there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. And uh, oh, you know what? Let's get a stock as well. Go, 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 go to the attachments. Let's get ourselves a stock. The wire one, I guess. Ooh, there we go. Look at this. Uh, spawn an options panel here. Let's do a little bit of shooting. Move this thing closer here. We can actually see. Uh, 100 meters is fine. Uh, <laughs> wow. So yeah, basically, you can take all these attachments. This is a big uh, 
large extender for big guns. Got smaller ones. You got shorter ones. You got some. Well, they're not that long, but uh, you can stack them as well. So I don't know. You'd have to spawn multiple. I think you can stack them. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Everything's falling apart. I think you can stack them. Yeah, so, you know, if you need uh, longer attachments, let's terminate with a big one. There we go. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about the bipod. There we go. Now we got ourselves a sniper system, actually. Grab ourselves one of these, uh, <laughs> scale down the, uh, oh, um, big chungus. Chungus suppressor. Which is mini chungus. Oops. There we go. Managed to hit it. I didn't even zero this thing. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm hitting the plate or it's just not moving due to how small this round is. I think I'm hitting it, but uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. So you can stack them, you can chain them. Pretty cool stuff. Now, you won't have to uh, glitch out some rails into a gun to put a bipod on, which is pretty nice. Cool, cool stuff. Oops. Do that. All right, so what else we got here? We've got ourselves a new low power optic. This is two times to five times. Just uh, hopefully you guys can see that, but it is pretty cool. And also adjust windage and elevation. Yeah, it's also got rails in the top. So um, if you want to put some new some of these new iron sights on there, you can. If you want, oops go grab this one <laughs> so you can build some incredibly crazy oh crazy stuff <laughs> it's like uh well this one's set to five times this one you can't adjust it and you got a red dot so And then the uh, red dot at the top. All right, good stuff. Oh, this is a um, this is a muzzle brake. That's the uh, cuts compensator, right? Yeah. So basically, uh, you can stick a muzzle brake on here, which is doesn't really quite work with the MRAD, but hey, you know, actually, there you go. Little tiny cuts compensator for the uh, Beretta. All right, so what else we got here? Like I said, we got the uh, new iron sights, which uh, these are like uh, these are like uh, M4, M16 style. And then you've got uh, this one. Which, uh, can you, can you toggle? That's the thing. I don't know if you can. I might be doing it wrong. Hold on. No, I don't think you can, but, uh, 
Yeah, they're these tiny looking sights. I might have put them on backwards. I have no idea. I can't even see them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you got that. And then you got a whole bunch of... Whoa. You got a whole bunch of hand stops and uh, foregrips for you to play around with. I don't like this one. It's kind of weird looking. This one is very uh, MP5K-esque. Right? Hold on. T-style. All right, cool. This one is MVG, the foregrip, MVG. All right. This looks like a, uh, <laughs> what is it? This looks like a prototype uh, MP7 foregrip. The Valk. Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that looks, uh, <laughs> this one, whoa. Look at that. What is this called? The shift. Cool. A nice uh, OD green for you guys out there. It probably matches the MRAD, sort of, kind of, maybe. What's this one called? Whoops. The Serb. All right. And this one is the ZG106. Mm -mm, not bad. And some hand stops here. I think they go this way. I'm not really too uh, too familiar with hand stops, but uh, they're not they're not actually foregrips. They're just decorative, so you can't really grab onto them. They just look cool. Again, point of the update: tactical, tactical. I think this is backwards. No, this might not be backwards like this All right and of course <laughs> oh man sort of like a foregrip kind of a plus muzzle brake looking thing <laughs> the foregrip is so far I'm holding this thing like a bow and arrow you know so I can't really properly shoulder it shoulder it anymore Yeah, that's the <laughs> this is for weapons that don't have a foregrip. And uh it's pretty pretty funky looking. So yeah, there you go. Some unique foregrip right there. All right, so uh, we've taken a look at those things. Those are like really good for people who like customizing their guns. I know I'm going to take some time to make some guns of my own with all this, uh, all this new cool stuff here. But we've got a last section here, and uh, this is a special section for all you people who love AKs out there. Let's grab ourselves an assault rifle. Let's get, let's get an AKM. Get ourselves an AKM magazine. All right. Works of being left-handed. And uh, yeah, look at these new foregrips for the AK, uh, for a certain AK. Uh, there we go. It's the dong, the AK dong. Everyone loves the dong. Uh, I'm kind of partially um, I don't really care that much but I you know I mean people love the dong so you can't uh, you know if they want it they want it right so I mean I like the AK as a, as a weapon which uh, oh, I can't do that uh, I think I might have an option 
a lot of people run into this as well, but uh, if you can't seem to do your um, mag, mag, tactical mag uh, reload, then you probably have easy non-physical mag loading on. So now this should be there we go. But yeah, there's the dong. You like the dong? There's also oh, uh, and uh, a lot of people don't know how to remove these uh, foregrip uh, things, especially for the MP5 and now for the um, AK since we got these. You have to go in the back. Okay, you can't just grab it and press down. Oh, you can, which is weird, because that usually doesn't happen. But uh, huh. I guess you can. Well, maybe Anton fixed that. But uh, usually, what you would have to do is you'd go by the back and press down. But now you can just grab the foregrip itself, press down. But that's how you remove that. And, uh, yeah. There's the dong. Here's the, um, I don't know what to call this. What is this? It's the shark. <laughs> Very angular. Let's see if we can jam this thing in there. There we go. No, yeah, if you like that, that's your thing. That's cool. Right, and uh, for all you uh, tactical uh, people out there, oh, come on, you can do this. Come on, get in there, get in there, you can do it. Oh, it's bugging out on me. It feels like it's attaching. There we go. All right, so now you got one with the. Uh, little uh, ventilation and rails at the bottom so you can do your own thing let's uh let's do this one this one looks pretty unique oh need to reload but yeah so you got all these cool new uh well, you got three cool new AK uh, attachments for all you uh, AK lovers uh, out there. Um, again, it, it's a good weapon. I'm not like a fan, but I recognize how good it can be. So, oh yeah, that's right. Anton uh, also uh, added uh, a fix to a lot of the, uh, the in-game ladder sites here. So now they're actually useful. So you could zero them. Want to shoot 1,000 meters with an AK? Be my guest. Now you can do that. I actually want to check one thing. Let me see if I can spawn something here. In time material. Ooh, does this work? Oh no. I thought it would, but I guess not. There's also a site here. Huh, well. That's okay. I thought uh, that would be one of the uh, ones included, but uh, eh. there's still a lot of them, you know. And uh, I mean, uh, realistically, you really wouldn't do that with a uh, yeah M107 because you can just stick a scope on there. But uh, so yeah, a lot of the uh, ladder sites now work. Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones had ladder sites. Obviously, Anton showed off the Mosin. R98 has ladder sights. Yep. Now they work. Ooh, look at that. Now you can shoot uh, 200, uh, 2,200 meters the car 98 if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, that's up to you. There's a whole bunch of these guns that have ladder sights. Um, oh, man. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm trying to think. No, not this one. I thought it was. Uh, but there's a list of all the uh, guns that uh, Anton worked on to get this. Uh, no? Not the uh, Springfield? 
Hmm. That looks like it's a a ladder site, right? Maybe I might be wrong. Uh, let's see, breach loading. He also, uh, I think he also fixed the uh, Creedmoor. Yeah. So now you can use this. So you can do some long range shooting with this. It's going to be hard. But uh, yeah. You know what? Let's fire off one round. There it is. 45, 70. There you go. Uh, what is this uh, sighted to? Let's try uh, 400. Strong. Uh, set reset target. This one goes all the way to 399 meters. Oh, goodness. You know what? Let's actually go back here and lower this. Whoa. There we go. Uh, now we can go to 399 meters. Oh, well, this is, uh, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> I don't think I can hit this. Go the sheet here. Oh, yeah, that's... I can't even see that far. My HMD is not that great in terms of resolution. Yeah. Uh, I can't even see my front sight. Oh yeah, I completely missed. But you get the idea. So now you can uh, you can zero this in, which is pretty cool. Oh, you can. That is, as I say, folded. Oh, that, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. All right. So if you don't if you don't need to use the site, you can fold it down. And uh, it's a little hard to use. But uh, that is pretty cool. All right. So let me just check the uh, patch notes here. Uh oh, wait a minute. Where my patch notes go? Oh, I need them. Getting over the computer here. Patch notes, patch notes. Stream review, MRAD, rail bail extenders. Puzzle attached bipod, AK4s, ore grips, iron sights, hand stops, the Lion 2 by 5X scope, uh, muzzle train whistle. Did I uh, did I skip that? Oh, I reload the scene here. Nope, oh, that one just fell out of the sky. All right, so the whistle isn't here. Okay. So I need to find the whistle. Go to attachment, muzzle device. Let's see if we can find it in here. Our suppressor, shroud. It might be decorative in the decorative section. There it is. Here's the train whistle. Modeled after actual train whistles. But this goes on some guns. All right. Well, let's spawn ourselves a weapon here. Let's go with a uh, submachine gun. Now let's go on the um, put on the good old Thompson. And that goes on there like that. You don't need to uh, tighten it or anything. It just locks into place. All right, let's put this. See what it sounds like. <laughs> oh man, Anton. I wonder what happens when you go full auto. Oh man, that is pretty loud. That's a train whistle for you. Choo choo. All right. There you go. Train whistle. Too bad you can't blow into it, but I mean, yeah, that doesn't make any sense because, uh, well, I don't know. You can't really blow into anything in this game. 
But there's a train whistle for you. Let's see what else. Uh, checking out the patch notes. Uh, accurate uh, calibrated interactive ladder sights to a whole lot of guns. Too many to name. Uh, let's see. Stuff about taking hold, bespoke attachments. Oh, uh, man. I gotta. Most of the gaunt rifles now have a safety, which uh, Anton talked about. I remember correctly. Bolt action. Just try this one. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this is safe. This is uh, ready to go. Cool. All right. Mosin has a safety. All right. Cool, cool. Um, new attachment points to the rolling block pistol. That's probably for all the uh, stuff over there, the uh, new railed uh, uh, muzzle attachments. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. STG-44, muzzle attach point to the... Pistols and revolvers. So, as you saw with Anton, he created that uh, monstrosity uh, with the uh, revolver over there. Uh, AK-4 attachment points. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. This more uh, fixes for the uh, revolvers and pistols. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I think I showed it off, but let's see. Anton talked about this. For these guns, the only way to affect the magazine is with something held in your hand. So, uh, I just use that up, I guess. So, if you want to do a tactical reload, the only way is to use the magazine now. Should, uh... Come on! Get out of there! There we go. So, you can't, let's say, use a table to uh, remove the magazine, or if you're accidentally running and you hit the wall, now the uh, magazine won't fall out. Uh, especially with the uh, SOSIGs, they would uh, knock your magazines out from your uh, <clears throat> AK-style weapons. So now that is all you need to do is to um, use something in your hand. So I think... Uh, this will work as well. Probably. There we go. That's a little, it's a little weird on this gun, but uh, should be should be cool now. So people, you know, they won't have uh, magazines flying when they're like running through taken hold and hitting walls or something. So that's pretty cool change. Uh, what else? Uh, can't see my, can't see the past notes. Uh, all right, uh, fixes, lots of fixes, fix the iron slice in the K50, uh, that's pretty cool, uh, look into the fixes, oh, yes, finally, this one, uh, I think should be, uh, brought to attention, because a lot of people have been asking about this specific attachment, since Anton, uh, said it. But where is it? Uh, M16A4, right? Yep. So, I remember him. He mentioned that uh, he made a new attachment for the, uh, the A4, the, the handle sight, to work with this one. It was never, I don't know what happened, but it was never in the item spawner. It never really spawned anywhere. So, now it's here, and now we can use it. And uh, now it is good. It should be good. I think. I don't exactly know. I, oh, yeah. I still have that there. <laughs> Let's just get rid of these. So, uh, let's, uh, let's shoot that box over there. Right. Hmm. 
Perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> but yep, there you go. You finally got your M16 A4 handle sight. It can also be used as a carry handle if you really wanted to. Let's grab it. You know, just carry it everywhere. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty cool. A lot of people were wondering where that was, and now that's here. Uh, what else? Okay. Some known issues. The red dot luminance is still disabled, so you can't change the uh, the brightness of red dots, which uh, uh, I can understand. He's still working on that. Because, uh, you know, you want to get it just right. It wasn't kind of... It wasn't correct, but, I mean, you know, it was still pretty cool that you can do it. So Anton's going to fix that. Uh, rotation to the side of scopes is currently disabled. Oh, oh, I know what he's talking about. Uh, so, uh, let's see, magnifiers like, let's see, where is the, there we go, the game point. This is a good, uh, good example here. So yeah, these, uh, it can't uh, flip out anymore. So it's still, uh, it's still a work in progress. Anton's got to fix that, but he will. Uh, what else? Uh, zero wing settings are not saved in the vault for oh yeah so integrated optics like um, oh goodness uh, what's a good one uh, the uh, G11 here we go oh well not the G11 sorry um, what's pretty good the uh, M40 here we go so you can't save the uh, settings for uh, this so yeah, Anton's still got to fix that. Well, you know, take his time. Give him a break. He just he just added all this cool stuff to the game. I'll give him a break on that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that's all in the change log. Nothing else. Should be done, all right? Oh, yeah. It's finished. All right, so, like I said, pretty much the alpha is over. So, update 94, you get all this cool stuff that uh, Anton gave to uh, the alpha testers but you also get all this new stuff especially this uh, MRAD which is pretty cool not 50 BMG but you know actually you know what before I uh, stop this video let's actually get some time with this ever sells a scope and I need a bipod but since this one is here just use this. All right, let's uh, let's do this to 400 meters. And uh, oh wait, did I completely forgot? Did I not? Did I not uh, use the rail cam? Let's see if the rail cam works. Okay, we got a rail cam. Uh, wait, hold on. Did I turn off the, uh, no, okay. Uh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Uh, let's see, cam preview, real cam. Let's see if this works. Me upside down? Oh, well, I mounted it on the bottom. So, so yeah. But let's just move that out of the way. All right. You know, uh, let's turn off the uh, settings here. Oh, okay. You can do that. Roll removal. Huh. So it does pick up the um, the scope. Okay. Hold on just a second. I need to do something. Sorry if this is probably pretty sickening for you guys. I know the uh, movement is a little uh, crazy, but I want to try something. Completely forgot about the rail cam. I'm sorry about that. Okay, we're just gonna remove this. Ooh, sorry, sorry. Oh, now it's too high. Oh, great. Oh, sorry again. I should just turn this off. Hold on. Uh, 
HD Spectator. All right, you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to put the rail cam and line it up with the uh, the scope here, so we can get some cool views. Honestly, I think that should work. Hmm, not quite. Oh. I think that works. That should be pretty good, right? All right. Cool stuff. Let me just turn this off for right now, because I'm going to do some movement here. <laughs> Completely forgot that it's picking up everything. All right, spawn options panel. Gonna do this. All right, let's go spawn this to three nine. Oh, lower this actually. Lower the target, please. Raise. There we go. Three nine nine nine. that over okay uh, it's a little too high oh I can't see <laughs> I can't see the can't see the uh, the target all right I'm gonna have to use the uh, the preview here all right we should be good oh man I can't see the preview it's too far. Oh, nope. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, hold on. Base 0, 400. Mag magnification, 32. Alright, you're going to have to bear with me because I can't use the scope with this rail cam on. Here, wait, hold on. You know, I'm doing this all wrong. Oh, wait, now I can't see in front of the, uh... <laughs> I put the rail cam in front of the scope. But as you can see, the scope is blocked. <laughs> so, I can't do that. I think I might raise the scope up a bit. Okay, now I can see. Okay, good. I'm just going to move this down. All right. It's going to look a little janky, as you can see. But... This is all for uh, this is all for entertainment purposes. All right, we got a rail cam. You can see it's moving, moving. I'm going to increase the FOV. Actually, I'm just going to zoom it in. Oh my goodness, that's a little too far. I'm sorry if I. Uh... Huh? You guys see that? Oh, it does. It shows up. Okay. Uh. Well, the preview... Okay, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh-oh. Well, I can't show you what it looks like, but on the preview, the uh, back wall is like... It's just dark. You can't see anything, so... Uh, well, that should be good. Uh, Alright, you know what? That's good enough. Hopefully you can see the... Uh, target. Because... I'm going to shoot at it. All right. Make sure everything is set. Safety is off. All right. Well, you know, hopefully you saw that because I can't see the uh, the cam preview because it doesn't seem to work uh, at that distance. So I'm just going to bring it back here. But uh, yeah, so that's the real cam. I should turn on the roll rotation. 
Although I do have to, I do have to change some of these settings. All right, turn off linear smooth. Wait, oh. Hmm, that's a little interesting behavior there if you if you turn the the gun all the way the view kind of changes. Oh, huh, well, sure. All right. Well, I think roll removal is pretty good because if you do linear smooth, it just well, it goes crazy. Not well, it doesn't go crazy. It's 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 you know not the ideal. So I turn off linear smooth and angular smooth. Actually works a lot better. Put it on number two. There we go. Oh man, I can't wait to try this out and take and hold. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. Oh goodness. It, oh, I forgot to turn it off. Oops, I dropped it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to drop the uh, camera. Let's uh, switch back to uh, spectator. But uh, yeah, you know what? I think should be a suggestion to uh, Anton. Uh, it would be to, uh, for like the uh, camera and the rail cam, they should have separate like savable configurations, right? Because uh, changing from like spawned object, you have to rechange all these variables. And if you go back to HD Spectator, you have to rechange all of them. It doesn't save it, see? So it's all using the same stuff. So maybe that could be a uh, an improvement. You know, we didn't even go into SOSIG view, but uh, again, that will probably be for uh, taking hold if we get to it. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is... Um, let's go third person for right now. And why am I... There we go. Uh, rear word distance. There we go. Third person. My gun go. So, this is third person cam. So you're looking at the back of the uh, Sosig head. But uh, yeah, that should be about it for today. I'm going to have to mess around with this uh, spectator camera because this is really good stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, check out all this cool stuff and uh, make sure that uh, it uh, is all set up properly because I really want to do a take and hold with these uh, spectator cam settings. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. I think I've been playing for too long already. But uh, I will see you guys next time.